A balloon puck. Oh, what? Oh, we brought Mizuki with us. That's great. Awesome. Saw his sister's figure insomnium, but I couldn't be sure of its exact location. I brought Mizuki along to help him. Somewhere it down. around here, right? Yep. Right. So this was the field where the figure was going through. In the past, there would have been a nice paved path here. It's covered in brush and weeds now, but I can still make out the trail heading back. We went this way. Okay. Do you remember anything? Yeah, I do. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. Okay. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Snickers. I was four. Huh? I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. But now, this is where mom... So this had to be like a personal vendetta type thing, right? Because like, if, they, if it's like that close to home to her about all this shit, like, she was killed her. I mean, that would be the most shocking thing. Hey, what about that suspicious figure you, you saw, saw in the bush? Person standing here, right? A man? Yeah. What was he doing? I don't know, it was dark. But he was watching me. Oh. He was Not standing creepy. there in the rain with no umbrella. But I don't remember anything else. I got scared and went to hide inside the column. Said at the time it's a spouse. What do you care? You never cared about me ever. And I liked it that way. What I don't want you fuck? getting close to me. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Oh my god. Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. What? What kind of a reasoning is that? Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or cactus. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying about me, okay? So she says. Listen, I know you're reacting because your mom fucking up and died, but don't give me the fucking lip, okay? Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. Oh, nothing, Spirit. Just this woman being a bitch. He's looking behind the bush. Okay. Iba, what's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway? It has, of course, closed Eat down. fresh? It is no longer in service. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason, as did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. Okay. The subway. Iba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Correct. A railroad crossing? A railroad crossing? Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? Shh, I'm talking to my eye. I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Didn't Long literally just say 90% of the time it's the spouse? So let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel, stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah. Yeah. But in any case, 
I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, he could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Daddy didn't do it. I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju. And you can help me find him. <laughs> what was that little trill right there, dude? That was cool. Alright, talk to her. When was the last time you saw Renju? I think about a week ago. Damn. That's a long ass time to go without seeing your dad who's in the same area as you. When I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. Fucking okay, asshole, dude. That is very unusual. Uh, what about the Nile message? Nizuki. Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. <laughs> I got some help from them. Bad personality? Yeah, we're talking about you! It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... Mm -hmm. <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Donnie! <laughs> Moon Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki District. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. <laughs> Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. I would too if I was 12 years old. Alright. You look like you want to say something. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Oh my god, I... Look, I don't want to believe it either. I've known him for more than five years now. He's like family to me. I never want to put cuffs on him. I would never want Mizuki to see that. Anyway, Renju just isn't the kind of guy who would commit a crime like this. Ah! <laughs> I don't know! But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Why? Someone else must have used his phone. I think you're being unfair. And his car! Mm-hmm. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What, what do you mean? He's not my dad! What about me? You try calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. Oh, who's this Sato. from? Incoming call from the boss. Oh, from Dami Mommy herself? What do I owe the pleasure? Hey, I just got the report from Iva. Okay. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting strange since last night. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder either. He doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. Uh, uh what about Renju's alibi? Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time, but that means no one can back up his story. Which makes him even more suspicious. Uh, why did you release him in the first place then? So Renju was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. No, I told you he vanished. Where are you headed? 
Renju's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. I didn't find anything. Of course. Where could he be? He didn't give us any new information. He didn't have much to say at all, really. Okay. Sugi looks like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. Okay. All right, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Where the hell did Renju go? You have to know. Uh, Sunpoke? Sunpoke? What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. Huh? Oh, Sunfish Pocket. What? Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. Oh, hell yeah! Maybe I can pick up some lessons. I found it. We're going to a maid cafe, boys and girls! Approximately 6.2 miles north-northeast in Akihabara. Oh, hell yeah. Sunfish bargain. Oh, it's closed. Can't be. Mm. That's her daddy dead now. Uh... Renju. Again with this fucking left eye bullshit. Oh shit, okay, day three. Back at the police headquarters. You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? I mean, this game's been going on for three days so far and I don't think we've been to our house yet, so no. My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. What's up, Peter? How you doing? You seem troubled. Two murders, one right after the other. How could I not be? Hey, boss. Renju had his left eyeball removed. That's so fucked how he's hooked on by his teeth right there. Right. Shoko too. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. Why? You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. Are... Okay. Peter? I don't know who the fuck you think you are right now, but you're one fucking stupid ass idiot. I'm kidding. Only a joke. I'm too God. tired for your jokes right now, Pewter. Hmm. Actually, you lost your eye six years ago, correct? Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. We have been together for more than five years. Okay. Why are you here? Am I not allowed to be here? Well, actually, no. No, you're not. No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Okay. What happened to Mizuki? She's sleeping at the hospital. 
They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. Yeah, after seeing both your mom and dad die within the span of two days in between each other, I would go and seek therapy on the spot, like 100%. I see. Her mother and her father. I hope she'll be okay. She's not. This is going to traumatize her. Well, how about you? Sleep? Of course not. I still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher ups, the press. I'm just taking a little breather. My run to. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but Renju was murdered. No way this was a suicide. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. The serial killer. The new Cyclops killer. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. New? Yes. Several years ago. Cuter. There is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. Oh, uh, you might as well tell me now since you're mentioning it. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? Is that what you were talking about, boss? Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings, to distinguish it from this new one. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. They were all young women. Okay. And... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. So... Is this person just trying to... Copy that, but... Put his own spin by taking the left eyeball out and not caring about whether it's men or women? A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and <laughs> Gaia, goddess of Earth. Cyclops were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Who knew Ivo was such a D&D buff? Yes, it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. Was it captured? No, in six years we never got a single trace. Huh? So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. Can't be, they're not that similar. No, that's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Mm -hmm. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. But Shoko and Renju... were missing their left eye. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. No, you can't just go along that far in with this and just be like, hey, I gotta cut it off right here. Sorry about that. No! Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. You've already spilled the beans. How can it be a national secret? 
Date, please, forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. It sounds like I do! The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. Iba, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Only amateur theories. All lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. Any other info? That's all we have for now. All right. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found, Sunfish Pocket. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I'm fine. Let's go, Iba. Understood. Alright, Sunfish Pocket, we go then. Hopefully this time, maybe they cleaned up the dead body and maybe there'll be some maids up in that bitch? Can I get some maids, please? Date, the uh, vehicle is accelerating 2% Why is she control. still in the car with me? Why is she still in the car with me? Did you put anything in the trunk? No, but there seems to be a child in my back seat! No. What about the back seat? Back seat? Mizuki! Hey, watch out! Ice forward, stupid! She fucking snuck into my fucking car. <sighs> what are you doing here? I ditched the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you, I can help. Absolutely not. How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't, something only his daughter would know. I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. You need to go see therapy right now. <sighs> Fine. But don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. How did you even get in here? It wasn't locked, I just opened the door. Oh my god, you're one of those fuckheads, Dante. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. Iba, I don't need it right now. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? <sighs> How are you doing? Well, I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. I don't know about that. <sighs> Do you want to catch the subset? No, the suspect? it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd thing for a preteen to yeah, say. Yeah, I was about to say, you haven't even turned into a teenager. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. That doesn't mean shit. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Just because I read something but by Albert Einstein does not make me a knowledgeable genius, okay? That's not how knowledge works. Sounds pretentious to me. About Renju. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? <laughs> nice weather we're having. You have nothing huh? to talk about. You don't have to say anything. Wow. Fair enough. You're an adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Damn. What a brat. So... You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy. You should cut that out. 
talking to Aiba out loud before I noticed Mizuki in the car. That must be what she was referring to. Mizuki is still unaware I exist? Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows about Abyss. But it's just... hard to explain. I won't say anything yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. It's not a proposal. No need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. <laughs> Date, I think you should go to the hospital. I'm all for yeeting the child. I mean, I think we should yeet her into a therapist office, honestly. What is Shoko's secret? Did you know that mom was the representative of an investment company? No, I didn't until you brought it up. Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. A scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. So she's an NFT scammer, is what you're telling me? I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have been extraordinarily careful. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Date? Why are you always such a bitch, Mizuki? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. Ooh, I got, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. It doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. It's it's fucking You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Date. Not the best line, dude. Definitely not the best line, man. You could have said a lot of other shit. What about daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. <laughs> Get fucked, Date. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. <laughs> I fucking love Dante. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Santa is a real bitch. She probably already knows that because of her <laughs> mental prowess. <laughs> hey, what are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? <laughs> Look at her face, Shad! Look at her fucking face! <laughs> Look at that scrunched up little fucking kid face! Oh my god! Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type! Uh, can we just stop this line of conversation, please? I don't like this. Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. <laughs> oh, punt this child. 